Welcome to the most beautiful islands in Malaysia. Today we are taking you on a boat tour around Semporna to experience these paradise islands. Good morning, so we're at the new tourist jetty here in Semporna and we're about to go on the boat trip. The islands out there are supposed to be absolutely beautiful, super clear water, so hopefully we're gonna have an incredible day. We were waiting about 20 minutes and now we're about to get on our boat to the islands. Here we go. We're on boat number five here. Oh. Always make sure you wear your life jackets some sort of way. So I've got it on properly. Just waiting for our police check. If you didn't know, back in like the 2000s, there was like a kidnapping here from the pirates. And so there's a lot of security um, going out to the islands now. So they know exactly who's going out with their passport numbers and stuff, which is quite interesting. We just had our little security check and we're good to go to the islands. It looks like there's a tornado. What? So we have just arrived at the first island and it looks so beautiful. Wow, look at this place. It looks like Tahiti or French Polynesia. We have just begun the hike up to this viewpoint. We had like a big debriefing, which is pretty crazy because it's only like a 30, 40 minute hike apparently, but there's stairs already. It's just stairs. It's not even like a proper hike or anything, but yeah, well, there seems like a lot of rules here. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe because the security issues they have here. This is a pretty cool hike. We are right in the jungle. We've only been walking like, I don't know, 10 minutes, but already I am sweating a lot. How are you feeling, Amelia? I'm sweating. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it is very warm. So let's talk a little bit about the security threat and like why some countries say you shouldn't actually come here. Basically, it's because someone got kidnapped from a resort around some of these islands by pirates and they basically wanted to use it for ransom or something. The person taken was actually like recaptured by the Malaysian military and it was fine in the end, but basically they just want to make sure everything's safe. No pirates are going to take you. Because obviously that's not ideal, is it? 600 meters. Oh yes, we're not too far. I'm dead. <laughs> I just have to collapse here. It's just so hot. Like it's not super difficult, but it's just the heat is quite overwhelming. <laughs> so obviously when we were at the bottom, there was so many people, but now we've come up and we've kind of started walking. Everyone's kind of spread out a lot. So it's a lot better, a lot more peaceful. I can see brightness. I can see, I think, what is the top? <laughs> Sweat. So they told us about 30 to 40 minutes up to the top, but we actually did it in 20 minutes. Pretty so good. it's not as bad as it seems, but yeah. it's sweaty. Whoa, that's so cool. <gasps> wow. Incredible. Whoa. Wow, look at the reef. I've never seen reef that clearly before. It's yeah, especially, especially high up. It's like being in a drone. Look at that. We are heading back down now, obviously, because everyone else came up after us. It got a little bit more busy, but not crazy, still very peaceful. But we're going to start the hike down. Probably take about 20 minutes, I reckon, again. Ah, oh, taxi. Okay. Ah. Hello. Yes, please. Where, where are you come from? In England. England, okay. You? China. 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 Welcome where, to China. Where? We went to Shanghai. We went to Shanghai. 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 We went to Guangzhou. Guangzhou. Oh. Guangzhou. Oh. Guangzhou. Just met this guy from China who added me on WeChat. So if we go to Guangdong, then we're going to go get some food with him, which will be pretty cool. We loved our time in Shanghai, so definitely want to head back to China at some point. And we are nearly back down to the bottom near our boat. If you're not aware, then actually around here is Sidapan, which is actually one of the best diving locations in the world. Unfortunately, we're not going there because you have to get really like expensive permits and stuff to go diving, but apparently the snorkeling and like diving there is incredible. Maybe we'll come back one day and do Sidapan, but we can't afford it right now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just island hop for the moment. We come a bit further along the jetty and look how clear this water is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's actually glowing. You can see so many sea urchins down there, but it's just so cool to be able to see everything so clearly and you don't even have to be in the water. So we just got given our packed lunch box. We've got some chicken, eggs, vegetables and rice. And it looks pretty good. Actually. Pretty nice. I 
think we've arrived on Sibiwan Island and this place looks incredible. We've basically got this big sandbar strip at the end of the island and right now there is no one here so it's just us. Everyone's getting a picture on the crystal kayak so they're all over here but we have this bit to ourselves. It's so nice. It says no filming so I can't really show you but there's a big tower and at the top of the tower there's a, a military guy with a massive sniper like machine gun thing and I'm guessing that's to maybe scare off pirates or just protect us or maybe it's just to like put a point out there that this island is protected and apparently each island around here is very well guarded and stuff so obviously with the piracy previously they're just trying to make sure it's super safe. We're a bit further away now so this blue tower at the top of there is the machine gun. Maybe I'll try and get a little closer look in a minute. When you go under the water, the clarity is incredible. It's some of the best I've ever seen. And there's like this sand dune, which I'm going to show you, which is like underwater and it just drops off into blue darkness. It's mental. Look how beautiful this island is. Absolute paradise. Paradise. All the way along this beach stretch there is plastic just being washed up and when you're going around the islands you do see like just trash floating in the ocean now there's a couple of reasons well there's one reason this might be and that's because of the Bajau people I'm not really blaming them but they don't have anywhere to put their trash because they don't actually belong to Malaysia they're not actually citizens of any country the Bajau people are basically uh, stateless as they call them one of the really important things you need to have when you're traveling, if you're on a beautiful island like this or in the tropical rainforest, is travel insurance. And Amelia and I have been using Safety Wing for over two years now. Let's talk a little bit more about Safety Wing. Now, traveling on social media can make everything look so dreamy and perfect, but things do go wrong. We're on this beautiful boat tour around these paradise islands. However, if something happens to go wrong, such as falling overboard, you would be well comforted knowing that you have the backing of Safety Wing keeping you covered. Now, one of the risks you take when traveling to Southeast Asia, but also here in Malaysia, is dengue fever, which is an illness that is transmitted through mosquito bites, especially if you're traveling in wet season, as there's a significant chance due to all the flooding, and this is exactly where the mosquitoes breed. Getting yourself covered is super easy with automatic monthly payments. So for digital nomads like Amelia and myself, this is perfect because we know that our nomad insurance is never going to run out. Rest assured, you'll have a safe trip, but just make sure you get yourself covered with a reputable company like Safety Wing and you will be protected if something happens to go wrong. Go down to the description and click the link to get yourself covered with Safety Wing. We finished up on the island and headed to our next spot, which was a snorkeling area. Gotta tell you this, let's go in the sea. We did see an octopus, which I've never seen before. I've never seen an octopus. Wow guys, what a beautiful boat day that was. Honestly, I highly recommend this tour. You can actually book it online as well, so I'll leave a link to it down in the description. But yeah, I highly recommend coming on it. It's good, hey? It really good. So you basically can do like three different tours, but we chose the one obviously with the hike, and I would really recommend doing that just like we did. Yeah, and it cost 220 ringgit, something like that. Maybe a bit more because I paid by card. Um, but the other ones are cheaper, but they don't have the hike and all that. So yeah, and I think this is tour A. Wow guys, what a beautiful day going around all these incredible islands. I just can't believe Borneo or Sabah itself is not really visited by many tourists. Most people seem to stick to mainland Malaysia, but Borneo and Sabah and probably Sarawak as well is just so beautiful. Highly recommend checking it out.
Anyways, we're super excited for the next few videos because we're going to be going some crazy beautiful places that you might never have heard of before. Yeah, we've got some very exciting plans. So if you haven't already, go down there, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Bye!